Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another unboxing video for you, which I'm super excited about, and this is a new one. Today I am unboxing the August edition of Page Habit. And Page Habit is a monthly subscription box. They have lots of different kinds of boxes. This is the YA box. Um, they have monthly, they have quarterly, so uh, go check them out. And actually, I have a link I will leave down below if you are interested in trying them out. You can get $10 off of your first order. So like I said, this is their YA August box. Also, I know that I had a special deal with them where they did send me an extra book in this box. So if you order this, keep in mind that it would be one less book than what I will be getting. But I am really excited to try them out. I've never had before, but I've been seeing them on Instagram and they look super cool. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so it's a pretty, oh. All right, so I do wanna show you a quick peek at what you see inside the box when you open it. This is it. Um, it's super cute. It's yellow inside. There's a lot of stuff in here. So I'm going to put this down so that I can show you all of the things. I'm super excited. So the first thing that I see is a letter from the author of one of the books that was included. I think this is probably for the main book for this month. It looks like it's called The Rattled Bones, which I have never heard of, so I'm super excited to see that when I get to it. Next, there's this lovely page habit bookmark and says, I'm wondering what to read next. And that's a quote from Matilda. That's super cute. Oh, these are adorable. Okay, so then I see these super cute little bookmarks. Lucky Boy set, they're magnetic. They're little like magnetic bookmarks. How cute are those? That's so fun. I've actually been super curious about these magnetic bookmarks. I don't have any, so I'm really looking forward to using those with my reads. Okay. Oh, this is super cool, you guys. Um, so it looks like this month they're actually doing a donation program for Cameroon where they're donating books to kids without access. And it's got this card with information about some of the issues in Cameroon and what they're donating. And it says that um, if you tag your unboxing posts on social media, they donate an additional book to a kid without access. So that's really cool. So the next thing that I see in here is I think the book that the author letter was from and it's got a little note on the front so that's kind of cool. This is, let me take this off for a sec, this is The Rattled Bones by S.M. Parker which, oh my goodness, you guys, look at that cover. It's gorgeous, I've never heard of it. And this is kind of cool. It's got a little note from her and it says, look for my annotations inside. Okay, so this is a cool thing about Page Habit is that they do author annotations, which is kind of amazing. Um, yeah, oh, cool. Okay, so you guys, look at this. There's like little post-it notes with annotations from the author throughout the book. This is so cool. I am really excited to check this out. So I don't know anything about this. So I'm just gonna read you guys a little bit from the dust jacket. Main bred independent Rilla Bray is no stranger to the deep. She knows the rhythms of hard work and harder seas, but when she experiences the sudden death of her father, the veil between the living and the dead blurs, and she begins to be haunted by a girl on a nearby uninhabited island. Ooh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> the girl floats a song over the waves, and it's beautiful and terrifying, familiar and distant. Then, Rilla meets Sam, a University of Southern Maine archaeology student excavating the very island where the ghostly girl appears. The plot thickens. Okay, this sounds super interesting. Um, and so I think it's about the two of them working together to unearth whatever the secret is. That sounds really fun. So I am very much looking forward to picking that book up. I had never heard of it, but it sounds amazing. So that's awesome. I love finding new books. Okay, next there are these super cute pens that look like feathers. I guess they're like, oh my gosh. Like get the cap open. Does it twist on What the hell? Okay. Oh, that's super cute. Okay, they're kind of hard to get off, but look, you guys, it's like a quill and it's a pen. That is adorable. They're like super floppy too. I have a feeling my three-year-old is gonna want to play with these if he finds them. My 
baby would probably want to chew on them, but those are really fun. I mean, the caps, yeah, like, the caps are really hard to get off, like, without pulling the pen out, but that is a really cute idea. I love it. Okay, the next thing I see, I don't know what this is, but it looks cute. It's a little cactus. Let's see what this is. That's really funny. Okay, so this is also a pen. It's a cactus <laughs> that is adorable. Um, I feel like that would be really fantastic on like a desk or something. That's really fun. It's decorative and useful, which is always the best. <laughs> awesome. All right, next I see another book and this cover also looks super amazing. Check it out, it's called Scarlet by A.C. Gon, Gowan, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it's really pretty. And this is a by, published by Bloomsbury. Again, I've never heard of this. Um, it says, um, Will Scarlet is good at two things, stealing from the rich and keeping secrets. Skills that are in high demand in Robin Hood's band of thieves who protect the people of Nottingham from the evil sheriff. Okay, interesting. So this is like a retelling, I guess, of Robin Hood. Scarlet's biggest secret of all is one only Robin and his men know, that the slip of a boy terrorizing the sheriff's men is really a girl. Okay, interesting. So that's fun. It sounds like it could be a really interesting read. It's like a retelling of Robin Hood, except Scarlet is in his band and is actually a girl. So, you know, like gender swapped identity stuff is always can always be kind of fun. I'm curious to check that one out too. Okay, next, it says that this is a short story commissioned in partnership with their friends at Great Jones Street. Cool, okay, so this is a YA short story called Small Worlds about a child prodigy painter. Um, who has bad luck. So that sounds interesting. This is by Karen Lynn Greenberg. Cool, I'll have to check that one out too. Okay, next, oh, this is super fun. I see a pair of socks. These. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, these are adorable. It says, if you can read this, pass me my book. <laughs> Those are super cute. What fun socks. I will totally be using those and probably putting them on Instagram because that's amazing. All right, so that is everything for this month. This is really cool. I did get an extra book in this box. So I think normally you just get the one book, but this is really cool. They've got some super fun bookish goodies. I love the fact that you get annotations from the author inside the book. That sounds great. This read sounds really creepy and fascinating. I'm looking forward to this. Actually, I might put this on my TBR for October because it definitely Definitely sounds like an October or fall kind of creepy read. That sounds perfect for that. This was really fun. I like it a lot. In the comments down below, let me know, let me know if you guys have tried Page Habit. And don't forget, I do have that link if you want to get $10 off your first box and give them a try. In the comments down below, let me know if you've tried them or if you want to see me review other subscription boxes in the future. I kind of want to try out some different ones and give you guys an idea of what's out there and what you might be interested in trying. Again, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. You can also hit that notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video. And if you do that, let me know in the comments down below and you will get a shout out in a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.